Hello and welcome to the new video of Astray and Rule Checker for the release 2004. Today I will show you only a few new features because in this release we focused on improving lots of our already existing features for you to have an even better experience working with Astray and Rule Checker. Let's first start with the changes in Astray. We improved the error reporting of failed annotation insertion attempts. If you try to insert an annotation and this insertion process fails, for example because you have a pass error in your file, you now get a dialog that shows you the reason why the insertion failed. We also adapted the colors in the annotations view that appeared with the annotations to be more consistent with the rest of the GUI. I prepared a small example for you where I can show you how this looks like. Okay, so here I already opened the small example and as you can see we have a pass error in this file here. So when I try, for example, at this place here to insert an annotation and I use, for example, just the astray print and add some text. And when I now click on save, I get this message that the extraction of the annotation and the annotation generation process failed. I can now click on this show details button and I get a more detailed overview why this happened. At this point we have this pass error that leads the annotation insertion to fail. So now I click on OK and when I go to the annotations view here I also had some annotations inserted before so this red means that the annotation could not be inserted in the code and the yellow exclamation mark means that the annotation failed. Astray now also accepts sampler statements of the form ASM opening and closing parentheses. The content of the body will just be ignored by Astray and you'll get a rule violation of the diagnostic rules. I will also show you this in the tool. Being back at our example, I removed the pass error and we can see here now that the ASM statement is just ignored by a tree and when clicking on this finding symbol here we get a rule violation about this assembler code that shall be avoided. What this means for you now is that those statements no longer need to be filtered using a parser filter because a tree will do it automatically for you. When you intentionally in the wrapper file call a function with too many or too few arguments, you now need to use the directive astray wrapper call. It will then emulate a function call with arbitrary full range arguments. The last change in astray that I will provide today is that we remove the alarm invalid function call function name has unnamed argument. But of course it is not just removed but got replaced by a new diagnostic rule in the diagnostic rule set. So unnamed parameter declarations are now reported as a violation of this rule. And now let us look at our new features for the C++ rule checker. Now the code excerpts that trigger a rule violation are shown with the alarm as you will see in a small example that I prepared. So here we have our small C++ example and when I scroll up to the alarms you can now see that with the alarm also the code excerpt is shown. You might already know this feature from the C analysis but now it is also available for your C++ analysis. The second new feature for our C++ rule checker is the rule set T. With this rule set you can now also check for metric thresholds in your C++ code. If this is something you already know from our C rule checker, only the better. 
then you already know how to use it. Of course, these are not our only new features and news. If you want to get more information and see all the improvements that we did on Australian Rule Checker and the new features, please visit our website at www.absint.com or write us at support at absint.com.